this example uh, shows uh, a question about incremental rate of return for multiple alternatives. But we are not using a regular, uh, regular one, okay? We don't have a finite number uh, of years. So the period is unlimited, is infinite. So if that's the case, we are talking here about uh, CC, which is capital cost. And as we solved before capital cost, when we talk about it, that means we have something indefinite. Uh, indefinite uh, and that means the period is uh, infinite. Uh, to solve for a capital cost, basic, basically you find A, you divide it by I. Okay? So if you have uh, initial cost, which is B, then you keep it. Anything has to do with A, you transfer it to uh, P using this formula. For the future, as I said, if it's salvage, we don't include it. Because these are several alternatives and we are using incremental rate of return, so we have to sort them, okay? We sort them based on initial cost, the first cost. That means less investment to more investment. Less investment, that means you are paying less money, okay? More investment, you are paying more money, okay? And that's why we can see uh, this uh, order, you know, A is negative 20, C, more money, you know, we paid 35 million, B, we paid 40, so we are increasing, you know, as investment-wise. Uh, that means we are, you know, we are paying money out of, of, out of our pocket, so we are, uh, you know, uh, this is cash, of, cash of flow, cash out of flow. Uh, on the other end, we have also annual cost, but the order, you know, when you want to sort them, the order is from based uh, on the first cost, okay? First cost has nothing to do with that. So we order them based on the first cost and we have A's, then C, B, E, and D. Because it's incremental, that means I have to compare uh, two uh, projects. So I take the first uh, least investment, which is A and C. Then I get the uh, incremental cash flow will be C minus A, as you see here, C minus, C minus A, okay? So everything has to be incremented. So I have negative 35 minus, minus a 20. So that will make it negative 15. So basically I'm saying, uh, I'm saying negative 35, it will be as follow. It will be like, hey, you know what? It is negative 20, negative 35, okay? minus, okay, uh, minus this one, so, okay, so minus times minus, that's positive, okay, so that's why it is 35, negative 35 plus 20, negative, negative here, this is not net cash flow, it's incremental, so that's why we care about these uh, signs, okay, so it's negative 15, same thing with the annual, Okay, you do the uh, C minus minus 2, you will get the result, it's uh, 0 0.1 million. Now, after I get uh, these, because we are doing incremental, I don't deal with this or with this. I deal with this here. So, this here is my concern. How I'm going to solve this? Uh, well, this is uh, straightforward. I go back to here, okay? And uh, after I sort them, as we said, we start getting... The, uh, the CC, uh, you know, uh, uh, cap using, you know, we start applying the equation of capital cost. How? As I said, uh, the P is going to stay the same. Okay. So let's say uh, we are not using this. We are using now. Uh, okay. Let's use that. Okay. We are using this order. Okay. This order. And we are using C minus A. So I'm going to put it here so you can see it. Okay, good. So we are using C minus A, the first one. C minus A, we are going to deal with this, with this, with this. So I'm going to deal with this one here. Okay. Uh, just uh, to see it, I'm going to deal with this one here. Okay, I'm going to deal with this. Okay. And with this one here. Okay, perfect. So now let's get the um, the delta I. 
because we are solving for delta i. We solve for delta i and we compare it to mar uh, or the interest rate given. The interest rate given is 10%. So now I have to solve for delta i. How I'm going to solve for it? Let's get this, you know, one uh, variable equals to zero because incremental rate of return, the cash flow, uh, the cash outflow is equal to cash inflow, including the interest rate. That means uh, PW by the end of the period should equal to zero. So that's why we put zero here. Uh, what is the P? Negative 50 million. I put it here. Uh, plus what? Uh, plus 0 0.1 million. This is A. Okay, based on the formula, A, you know, if I want to get P out of A because it's capital cost, I should say A divided by I. So A, okay, is 0 0.1 divided by I, which I do not know. Okay, so now this is uh, one equation with one unknown. Do the math here, bring the 15,000 over there, and uh, you can uh, easily get uh, 6.7. Okay, so this is uh, constant, this is constant, and uh, all set. This is delta i. Same thing we apply, you know, for others. But here there is a smaller trick you have to pay attention to. I took C versus, versus A, and the incremental was C minus A. Based on the formula, okay, based on the formula, uh, if you recall, okay, we say delta i B minus A. If if this one here is greater than mar, I will select B. Okay, I will select B. So I come over here. Okay, and what do I have? I have C minus A. The delta I of C minus A is less than mar, not a greater. It has to be greater to select C. If it is less, then I have to select what? A. Okay, we have to select A. And that's uh, again back to here. B minus A less than mar, okay, uh, then we select A. If it is this one here greater than mar, then we select what B. In our situation, okay, we have C minus A is um, less than mar, it is 10%, and I got 6.7, then eliminate C and accept A. We do the same with others still. You know, B is the winner, and that's what we have to select.